All right, what is up guys? What is up mga karo? We're back with another video and in today's episode, I'm gonna show you kung paano mag-detail ng sasakyan but first, uunti-untihin natin to. Today is Sunday, uh, I decided to start with this first dito sa may uh, makina muna. So we're gonna do an engine detailing today and then uh, unti-untihin natin hanggang sa matapos tong project na to or itong proseso na to. So we're gonna start with it and probably in the next day, I'll, I'll do the interiors and then uh, we're gonna do some uh, like buffing and um, eventually we'll end up with uh, coating it, ceramic coating for a protection nitong pintura na sasakyan but medyo maraming kailangan gawin dito I've seen couple of scratches yung iba medyo malalim, yung iba mara or maraming mababaw lang and then sa interior naman medyo matagal nang hindi nasasabon or hindi na interior detailing so that's another thing that we're going to do as well alright so let's go ahead and start detailing nitong engine na sasakyan ito So in this process, I'm gonna make use of a couple of tools, okay? So, una syempre kailangan natin ng guantes. Now, you've seen me in the previous vlog na gumamit ako ng itim, which is another form of gloves, pero manipis yun. With this, since we're gonna be doing an engine detailing na medyo delikado sa kamay, so I'm making use of something that's thicker. So, ito, ito yung regular na klase ng gloves na ginagamit natin sa either sa kusina or sa banyo. So, I think you can buy this for like 150 pesos. Also, we're gonna be using a brush. This is by Mothers. So, it's soft bristled. Hindi siya masyadong matigas. Okay, it's good for engine detailing. So, ito yung gagamitin natin pang brush para mas mabilis. As you can see, medyo malaki siya. Now, we also have a toothbrush, a used toothbrush para pang uh, brush nyo sa mga medyo intricate or medyo malalim at medyo mahirap na areas. Okay, and then, or har hard to reach areas. And then, we also have another brush. So, ito may, may mahabang version ito hindi ko makita but I normally use that as well in case na medyo malayo and I have to reach um, so yun uh, so take note of that I need uh, that also but I can't find it right now anyway itong isang brush na gagamitin natin mas maiksi so all of those places na hindi ko magagamit to ito ang gagamitin ko of course aside from that this is what we call all purpose cleaner so normally in the process of engine detailing I make use of a degreaser pero naubusan na ako ng degreaser iba kulay nun ang kulay nun is uh, pula. Uh, eto green, this is the APC or all-purpose cleaner. So, I'm gonna be making use of this to remove the grease. And then also, we're gonna be topping it off with this. This is uh, Supreme Shine High Gloss Protectant. So, basically, ang trabaho nito ay i-protect yung mga plastic. I mean, majority plastic, some some are rubber. So, eto ipapahid natin dun to make it look clean, of course. But, of course, it's very important na talagang malinis. That's why we're gonna be using this these tools and the uh, chemicals but yeah ito para magmukha siya maganda paitimin yung mga plastics and syempre para makintab these are the things that we're going to use of course we're gonna be making use of a hose kasi bubombahan natin siya what we're looking at right now is itong mismong uh, makina nitong sasakyan na to so here's the bonnet or ito yung hood lilinisan din natin siya uh, we're going to be bas basically washing it sasabunin natin siya with the use of uh, the APC or the all purpose cleaner as you can see meron din siyang kanal dito so lilinisin din natin yan I brush natin very important things na kailangan nyong malaman pag uh, ginagawa ito kung natatakot kayo much better if you are especially if you are going to use or going to clean a different car then you might as well not do it yourself pagawa nyo na lang sa isang expert or isang tao na marunong sa engineering engine detailing or punta na lang kayo sa mga shops but yeah there is the computer box so tinakpan na yan it's got plastic make sure na hindi botas yung plastic nyo and then here is the alternator naman uh, importante rin syempre dahil pag na nabasa ito delikado yan alright so ito basically yung mga hindi pwedeng mabasa now aside from that of course ayun yung battery that's safe that's okay now dito naman uh, spark plug nya pero since meron naman syang ganito just, just as long as hindi kayo masyadong bobomba ng tubig especially if you're not making use of like yung sa mga pressure washer this is fine but if you're gonna be using a pressure washer you might as well remove this ako hindi ko natatanggalin but you might as well wanna remove it and uh, make sure na may cover din plastic nyo rin sa loob nito are the four spark plugs actually 
And then syempre, ito sealed naman yan. Okay, ito, if you'd like to, you can actually put cover on it as well. Yeah, basically that is it. Okay, everything so far is safe. Now, isang paalala eh, pag medyo luma yung sasakyan, medyo delikado. So, better not have it done by yourself. Paggawa nyo na lang. Bayad na lang kayo. Depende sa kung gaano ka dumi, it will run from like 1,500 to 2,000 pesos. That is a lot better kumpara sa pagka nasira naman after nyo gawin because you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, let's start, okay? Now as you can see, habang ginagawa ko ito, nakamask ako. Kahit na walang COVID, importante meron din kayong mask kasi medyo harsh yung amoy nito. Hindi siya maganda sa lungs pag na-inhale mo. So make sure meron din kayong mask. Alright guys, so ang susunod natin gagawin ay sprayhan natin siya ng solution which is the APC nga. So you can see nasa, iba, nasa ilalim tayo ng araw so mas madali siyang ma, uh, matuyo or babalawan natin siya kaagad-agad. Now as you can see, hindi ko na naipakita kanina kasi may nangyari dito sa camera natin pero eto kanina pinunasan na natin siya so tinuyo, tinuyo siya kaagad and that way hindi magkaroon ng mga watermarks because what's gonna happen pagka hindi mo siya kaagad pinunasan so, pwede mag form yan ng mga watermarks dito and that is something na hindi mo gusto mangyari so, so since this is done let's move on to this let me show you normally same process okay this part uh, I think nagawa na ni Jaime but yeah normally mag start ka sa bandang taas pa baba you don't like to do everything sa baba and then you move up kasi nga sayang yung, yung effort mo okay As you can see, na sabon na siya, na hugasan na sabon na banlawan. Now, next thing that we will be doing is that is start natin yung kotse. This will ease yung process ng pagtuyo. So habang tumatakbo din, matutuyo to. And then that way makita natin kung ano yung mga areas na kailangan pang uh, linisin if in case mayroon pa or punasan na lang. But the good thing about that is uh, kato paano mas mapapadali yung buhay mo pagtuyo. Especially if you don't have anything na pupwedeng pangtuyo niya like uh, compressed air para mas mabilis. Uh, Siyempre nga pala, uh, kailangan mo nang tanggalin. There. So as you can see, it's almost done guys at mga kaaro. Malinis na after matuyo ng kumbaga, after niya matuyo completely, papahira na natin siya nito which is what's going to make it look a lot better than how you saw it kanina okay so let's go start the car so we're gonna let it run for siguro mga 5 minutes make sure na tuyo lahat tip guys sa mga karo if you're doing this pinupunasan nyo pa yung every part nitong uh, makina and nagraran yung mga kanan, make sure na hindi mo siyempre mapunasan yung umiikot na yun, anything that's revolving na umiikot, delikadong mahawakan, so make sure kung uh, may gusto kong abutin dyan, patayin mga kanan, and go on and continue okay guys sa mga karo, normally 
ang ginagawa ko rito or etong uh, Maguire's uh, Supreme Shine protectant na to it can be used on this surface this is plastic so it's okay as long as malinis we're gonna make another video for that and that way mas makita nyan detalyado but this time I'm not gonna be applying this to this cause mag apply ako ng ibang klase ng solution for this etong chemical na to gagamitin natin dito sa loob lang ng makina to but again if you have this and you would like to use it here that's fine that's okay 100% okay uh, in another video gagawa tayo kung saan kulilinisin to as well as ipoprotect natin siya at kukulayan ng more appropriate kind of chemical for this. Yung mga ibang professionals, you know, what they do is like spray this all over and then pinupunasan na ng basahan. I don't do that. I'd rather put or spray the solution directly dito sa foam and then siya yung gagamitin ko na bang punas. Okay, so let's go. And as you can see, nilayo ko rin while I was spraying it dito sa foam because we don't like to have this uh, chemical splatter dito sa paint nasa sakyan so let's go start so ganyan lang siya so, medyo basaya tayong ginamit kong foam anyway so make sure na tuyo yung foam na gagamitin nyo so later on may kita nyo to na parang bago makintab and uh, kahit pa paano makakatulong to sa protection if you'd like something that's even better protection than this then we'll have another video for that for now ito gagamitin natin see the reason why ginamit ko tong uh, gloves na to this bathroom or kitchen gloves or utility gloves the reason is pagka nasabit yung daliri mo dyan po pwede masugat and that's something that again you don't like to happen Okay, that was like around mga 30 minutes. Ganun lang kadaling gawin. Uh, I mean, I say madali for a person just like myself kasi siguro 3 days ago nakita ko ganito basag to. And I felt bad. Kasi itong piraso ng uh, tail light na to, uh, unang-una napakahirap hanapin. Pangalawa, ang presyo nito napakamahal. We're not flexing here. Pero dun sa mga gumagawa or dun sa mga nagre-restore ng uh, old school cars alam nyo to na itong mga gantong klase ng peraso or accessories or parts ng old school cars napakahirap hanapin at napakamahal I think the last time na nakakita ako ng exactly the same isang peraso lang yung kaliwa lang uh, this was being sold at uh, 8,000 pesos that was in 2014 so really I felt bad na makita ko to so I just hope may magawa tayo para i-repair tong isang piraso na to. But uh, yeah, and uh, look at this also. Ayun nga, so I said uh, madali because uh, I've done that medyo matagal-tagal na. I started detailing noong 2013 pa if I'm not mistaken. And then I even uh, had a business, a detailing business. But yeah, if you are someone na uh, alanganin, better not have it done by yourself kasi nga baka makasira lang kayo that's uh, that's very important guys sa baka araw uh, today is the first day ng job natin unfortunately yun lang nagawa ko bukas isusunod ko tong loob so if you are someone na gustong matuto ng detailing make sure you are subscribed to the channel kung gusto nyo maging hanap buhay or negosyo in the future I think I have something to share with you guys sa baka araw kasi sabi ko nga dating negosyo ko to so I know the ins and outs of this kind of trade this kind of of, of job of task uh, of art kasi it's an art na rin for detailers just like myself um, so kailangan mo talaga matuto ng madaming bagay so again if you would like to learn more about detailing make sure that you are subscribed to the channel hit that notification bell as well and let me know through the comment section how this is
is of course it's not a perfect job and the reason is it's we're not in a place kung saan talaga conducive na gawin tong bagay na to normally hindi po pwede sa kalye but yeah yun na nga if you'd like to learn something about detailing let me know kung ano yung mga videos na gusto nyong matutunan of course I'm gonna be doing those things na po pwede kong gawin dito sa kotse na to and eventually dun sa kotse na na yun look at that that's the that's my I call him Black Muscle. Uh, it's a 1977 Corolla SR. So that's something we're going to do here on this channel. Uh, if you'd like to just check the videos that are only detailing, uh, go ahead check out the link in the description. Because I have a separate na only detailing videos I'm going to do. So check that out. Subscribe to me. Yeah, that is it for this video. That is it for this episode. Again, we're going to be coming back with another video, another task na gagawin natin dito sa BIOS na to this will take couple of days uh, hanggang sa makompleto natin then we'll move on and take uh, good care of that other badass right there anyway that is it for this video I hope you like it if you do give it a thumbs up again if you are not yet subscribed make sure you are subscribed to the channel I hope nakatulong kayo to paano hit that notification bell as well comment share the video malapit na tayo mag 10k so that means I'll be giving away brand new shoes Or, no, no, I'll be giving away an NMD pala, hindi brand new. Yung, yung brand new natin is the, the other one, the, the Draven shoes. So, ayun, well, thank you so much again for watching this video, guys. At mga karo, until next time. See you!